against him? But it's streaming. I can't tell. Oh, all right, guys, can you see me? Uh, I know you guys can hear me, but I'm making sure you guys can see me. I'm still learning this YouTube live stream thing set up, so everybody, thank you so much for people here at Becky. I can hear you. Can you see me? That's the next step. Can you see me? That's the big thing. I'm making sure you guys can see me. hear me I know there's a bit of a delay sometimes Hold on. I can see you oh fantastic um, hey YouTube why do you make your live stream formats so damn difficult to set up it is ridiculous it's like all these all these options and th it's just it's such a mess so YouTube please Get it together, man. Why you guys make it so complicated? I'm not even technically savvy, and I can figure out other formats everywhere else. But YouTube, oh my God. Is it because it's owned by Google? Is that what happened? All right, anyway, I'm sorry. Just good grief. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hmm. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to do, uh, I've been watching the, um, what is it? I'm a Yama. Amashiro, Amashira, uh, it's a, the thing on Netflix of the guy fights demons with the magical gauntlet. And so today we're going to be doing that. I'm going to be uh, patterning out, withdrawing out. I'm going to do the, take you through the drawing stages all the way up to the, um, the building. So, <clears throat> all right, hold on, let me just. Uh, let me hit record. Let me see if we make this work, shall we? There you go. Oh, we're recording. <clears throat> Welcome back, my fellow makers. In today's episode, we're going to be making the gauntlet from the Japanese uh, uh, Omi... Uh, the Oni Gauntlet from the anime, I can't can pronounce the name correctly, uh, Omushira, the Gauntlet, uh, he fights demons, and I know it's based on a video game, which I've never played, but after watching the animated series on Netflix, I might have to get that game, it looks like a lot of fun. So we're going to block this out today, uh, I went and grabbed some images, but sometimes I find it's better if you're watching the show, just go ahead and just pause now with digital technology you can just take your phone out take screen grabs off the movie it's so much easier sometimes than trying to search the internet to find something so while watching the show i just would pause and take my phone out and get some shots so i grabbed some good angles of it and we're going to start blocking that out today um old-fashioned technique we're going to draw it first <laughs> and go from there so if you're ready let's get started All right, guys, let's do it. We're going to uh, switch to my overhead cam. Yeah, fuck. Let's get a little closer. Thank you. 
So what my reference is, I'm just kind of using my arm uh, as the gauntlet. Um, which is not about it. You know, let's start with just sketching that out first. Let me just do a simple trace of my arm. Here we go. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to clear this frame. There's so much crap on my desk. <laughs> um, fist. Okay, so now it's kind of hard to see for you guys, but um, I got it roughed out here. Um, you know what we're going to do? Let's pick a center line. I have an idea. When drawing stuff out, especially something like this, I want to keep it symmetrical. It's just easier to draw one side and then flip it. So let's do that, shall we? There we go. All right. Got it. Now, let's start with the uh, this guy right here. He has kind of a dome, but I think uh, it's kind of like somewhat of an eye. So we're going to block this out first. Hey, hello. Welcome. Uh, that's uh, Masuko K. Masato K. Again. I am great with foam and bad with names. Green thing. Hey, Danny Knight, how you guys doing? Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> I tried to do this last week and it screwed up, and so I figured there's some things out. But I have to go through and do some more research on this so I can remember how to do it again. It's kind of a I would I would like to have it scheduled, but it, there's a way of doing it. I just got to figure it out. Yeah, YouTube's not easy to, to run, so to set up for some reason. We're going to, um, yeah, start drawing this guy out right here. I'm going to start with a hand. I know I'm great with faces and bad with names, right? All right, here we go. So what we're doing, we're going to start with this first. Um, now, the thing is funny, when you're drawing things that come out, you have to understand that this is a top view, and it's not compensating for the, you have to compensate for the thing, think of the curve. So I'm, I drew this a bit long, but I'm realizing this might, from this shot here, it, it curves down quite a bit. So... I might have to change because when you're making a pattern, it lays flat. But when you bend it, you know, it's gonna be, again, it's all trial and error. You got to kind of make it up as you go. So, um, it comes straight down. Like that. So it's pretty, and it has a peak in the center too. Like this, it kind of comes out. Short little peak. More like a knuckle comes out. This guy's a little bit closer here. Like that. Doing this guy here. So it comes. Yeah, it goes wide. It kind of goes wide first. Yeah, it looks more like a knuckle, doesn't it? Like comes back like this. Dips in. Back on again. Um, 
this one comes out it's a little short right this guy this dips like this that and then we have this comes down well, matter of fact, it doesn't go down, like if you look at it here, it doesn't go down deep, so hold on. Get the eraser. Oh, ah. This. That goes to the peak and it scallops like that, swoops in. And also, too, you have the eyeball, right? The, uh, which we'll put in right. Xamarus88 made it. Thank you. Make, thank you so much for making it. Thank you. Again, sorry for the this light's blowing people out. Um, I had a little struggle setting up this YouTube channel, and I tried this up yesterday, and it kind of it glitched, and I started recording, but I didn't know it was going anyway, I digress. Let's get back to it. Um, so right now, yeah, we're drawing this up. And this is the thing you do, and what I'm doing is I'm drawing this, and uh, the freehanding it because the plan is I'm going to uh, score the uh, poster board, fold it, cut it, so it'll be symmetrical on both sides. That is the plan we're going for. All right. Um, and it has some indentations here. Yeah, it's a lot of very, I love it. It's very organic. So you, it's kind of, you know, you can have fun with it a little bit. Um, but there's, um, if you guys look here too, there's a, it's got a, this spark that kind of wraps down, but you have this guy right here too. A lot of, a lot of layering. Yeah, just it's crazy. I really like this a lot. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll start with gauging out the um, the detail. I guess once we start doing the detail, we'll kind of, this will kind of gauge where everything else is going to fall because you can see this detail, but you know it's going to it's definitely going to wrap around. It's all going to come down more. Sorry guys, I have a question really quickly. It says, I had a question. If you could help enlighten with the availability of 3D printing, uh, what is the benefits of creating using a physical material? Um, I love it. I love working with my hands. Um, I think the 3D printing sometimes just takes away the, the part that I love the most is making it. I love figuring out how to do it. And in 3D printing, you can have a file or uh, like it's a, it's a, it's a Thingiverse or something like that. There's a website where they have a bunch of 3D files. You can grab things you'd like and just print it, clean up, and it's done. But that's not for me in the sense of there's some things I wouldn't mind printing, but overall, like this, sure, there might somebody might have built a 3D file of this, but I want to make it because it's, 
it's fun. That's what I like doing. It's it's challenging myself. And the more I do it, the better I get. I like problem solving and creating. That's um, why I like Bala. That's why I always tell people there's no uh, there's no such thing as uh, I have nothing against 3D printing. It's just that that's it does the thing I like to do the most is make it. So that I, if that has enlightened you at all, that's my answer. I just like making it. And also when it's done, it's foam. It's lightweight. It's durable. And it will last way longer. Uh, I've had 3D prints are cool. And they're great for proppy things, especially for movies and whatnot. But then every time I work on a movie and there's something that's 3D printed, they always have to make a stunt rubber one. They always have to make rubber ones because it just won't take a beating or a break or it'll hurt somebody or it'll scratch. The paint comes off. It's like, so you always have to make stunt versions. So every time I work on a movie, we'll make a prop and there's always like multiple rubber props too because it's just going to take a beating. And you kind of cut that whole thing out because you don't have to mold it. You just make it and it's foam and it's done. Yeah, I know. Me too. All right. Good question. All right. Uh, okay, so we have this. So right back there, there's a, a little bit of a space. It's fine. We'll do that like that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sharpie thing that comes down. But uh, let's go ahead and plot out. trying to uh, match the flat plane here and it comes down like this like that runs down comes back down like this and this guy comes up like that but it's not that it's kind of yeah it's kind of kind of round it, it Again, from animation, it varies, but in the show, I guarantee a lot of it is digital, digital animation in the show, so. I don't, I don't want to make this too wide, because my fear is that once I fold this, it's going to make it look too big, so I want to keep this relatively thin. And then we have, so yeah, hold on, so let's bring this in a little closer. This is why I'm drawing in pencil today, guys. <laughs> a lot of erasing, so. And then this guy comes up. Yeah, that comes off from like this. It's that thing of gauging. You want to make sure you have the same length. Because this looks... The length looks... All right. Yeah, it's about... This could be a little longer, I think, maybe. Because then shortly after this, there's these three steps here. So if it does that, it ends there like that, right? Yeah, and no, it ends right here. So yeah, let's, let's hold on, guys. Let's plot this out first. Make sure the ends of the, the area I wanted to end at, so I go like that, and it shoots off like a scale thing. And there's another one right here. So that's one, two, three. So it's one, two, three. 
Mm. Yeah, okay, no, we're all right. We're okay. That's fine. Oh. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you guys again. Everything, reason I'm live is so you guys can come in ask questions and um and chat that's what think about it i've been doing this sometime on twitch for years and i realized that a lot of people are not on twitch as much and some people don't have twitch and in order to watch twitch you have to have a twitch account a lot of people haven't been doing that so i started figuring from now on i used to do my live streams so i'm going to start making my live streams every sunday at 9 a.m here on youtube uh so you guys can catch up and i'm going to of course take this and cut this down and make it into a video but I want to get this, uh, um, yeah, just kind of get people to hang out more and bring some numbers. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Check it out. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, I've always found when I'm drawing sometimes, sometimes you just turn it so I can look at stuff. <laughs> so, all right, and this guy. Yeah, this yeah, this has a harder angle. Yeah, hold on, guys. This has a harder angle on it. Yeah, this comes off more like this. So it has this panel here, and it has another thing on that too. So all right, hold on. I'm sorry, you guys got it. Camera goes, you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, like that. And this guy comes in like this. And dips in like that. Yeah, it's funny because look, it looks, I'm drawing them, but they look kind of short, but in reality, they're really, really long. I'm not, I'm, yes, things I'm probably going to have to get the layout, but change things as I make the, uh, get the idea of the length here. Because yeah, there's something going on down here too, right? With the... Okay, um... It's funny because this looks good at a certain point, but I think I'm going to have to um, start, like, I can do this top part of the pattern, probably make it get a little bit long, and then kind of figure it out as I go. 
Um, but I'll definitely do this to get the, dis the, the, the length of it because we'll probably have to change a lot when we go to wrap it to make things longer. Because right now it's a top view of something that's curved. So it's going to be a little, we can draw, we can, we can see so far. And we'll just go ahead and figure that out when we get going here. Um, As a weird, yeah, it comes in like this. Like that. Goes back out again. And there's these little tabs in the inside. all goes out. This is, yeah, because at this certain point, you can't see the sides so much. Uh, see what we're going to do. I, let's go ahead and scribe this real quick. This is some poster board. I'm going to fold it in half. So what I like to do is take an X-Acto blade <clears throat> and just lightly score the surface of the uh, poster board. That breaks the surface tension. So when you fold it, it just it folds easier like that. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this guy out. You know, let's go ahead and cut this hand out separately because I'm definitely gonna have the, have this be a separate piece. So let's go ahead and just cut this guy out like this. Yeah, see, there you go. Now, the thing I'm looking at right now is that already, <laughs> since I did that and cut it late on here, it's not, um, look at the side profile here. These guys are really, really, really long on the hand, so when it bends down, it doesn't nearly go as long as I'd like it to. Uh, so we're just going to make it just a... And longer. Yeah, so everything I think everything else looks good. We just have to make those guys longer. Here. Um Yeah, I think I think everything's here just needs to be a little bit a little bit wider. That's the problem. So again, when you're drawing something and compensating for the curve, so we're going to make this again, but make it a little wider. So what I'm going to do, We're going to take this guy and just trace it like so. Here, let's get, let's get a, um, a fine tip sharpie. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. Uh -huh. So, wait, wait, sorry, I'm doing this wrong. Wait. <laughs> I want to make it wider. See, so whatever I do. I'm realizing we're going to take this guy yeah, like this.
Trace our center line right here. Let's do this in here. Okay, let's do the side first here. That's it. And we do this. So now we're going to make it a little bit wider. So we're going to take that line. I like the design I have so far. Uh, and we're going to make it a little bigger, like this. So we're going to take this spacing. Here, let's do that. Let's give it a... Uh, make it about... A little wider. Half that? Yeah, let's do that. So the trick is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, bring it out a little bit wider. Now the knuckle and everything I like, we're going to keep that the same. So we're probably end up doing some changes. We're going to make this knuckle a little bigger. Um, and also, let's go ahead. Yeah, this pin is dead. Let's get a better Sharpie here. Uh, Becky saying, what's this? Get super chat? Says we have to figure out how to get some super chats in the thing. Okay, can they not see the chats on YouTube? Can you guys get see them on YouTube? Um, well, let me figure this out real quickly. Um, Tell you what, while we're at it too, let me uh, make this longer. All right. Um, again, this wrapping like this on my hand, uh, I like it to go down a little, because uh, now it's on my hand and you're looking at the pattern. You can see what the changes you want to make. And the, uh, the thumb thing, needs to be a little wider and needs to come down more. So what you do is you come over here and you make those changes on this. So make it make this a little wider. Because I know where it's falling in my hand. So it's gonna be a little wider. Like that and have more pointy. Kind of do it more like this. It's going to cover quite a bit. It's going to have to compensate. Now, yeah, see, it's also wider, too. Mm, hold on. Let's just get, make this, cut it, and let's take a look at it. So I'll just, we're just making this stuff up as you go, people. And yeah, the other stuff on the top of the armor, I'm really happy with. That looks fine. We'll keep that. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Is it going to be... I think I might have done it too. It's not going to be big enough to go over here then. Oh, Ted, you... hold on, guys. I'm because so... <laughs> I just did this to make it bigger, and I think when we flip it over, it's not. It's going to be here. Let's do this, shall we? Find our center. Yeah. Scissors. All 
Might be a little longer than expected, but that's alright. This with exacto blade. Okay. Not bad. And see how it comes. And see, so you look in the hand. You see how it comes down longer now. Might be a little longer. I might run around here. Let's split the difference here. Yeah. So let's trim this up just a little bit. Needs to come down more like a, kind of like that. Yeah, not bad. Look at the side profile here. Yeah, I think that's all right. I'm gonna be um. There's something else too. I noticed this comes down more, like um. When it sits on the top of the hand, it's not a, um, it's not, see how this is flat? See how it sticks out? This actually gets darted. So hold on. That might be something. Let's see that. Because um, the eyeball thing is here, right? So this is about there. So this gets darted. That's not a bad idea. That gap. Because, yeah, on the side, like this, it actually dips in. So we're going to cut a dart in here. Which will make it more like the original drawing I had. So let's go back just a little bit, like right there. Let's dart it. See, and now we have a dart, so when we put it together, it'll dip it down a little bit. That's not bad. Okay, we have all this great uh, drawing stuff here. Let's go ahead. And, I like this. Let's go ahead and cut this out and transfer it over. It'll be the eyeball. You know, I actually like where the eye falls in this one, too. It's good. Stays more in the center, doesn't it? So let's try this real quick. Let's choose that. Um, you know, it could be a little... Yeah, hold on. Let's, now I'm looking at it has more of a oval, like an egg. So let's go ahead and I think we make it get away by making a little, um, yeah, let's bring it up. It's probably too wide, I think is the problem. So I need to make it a little bit um, less, less wide, more narrow, like that.
Yeah, the top seems fine. We'll just do this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, a little better. See? Well, it does look better. A little bit of eyeball happening there. Okay, so we have that. Um, so we have all the secondary detail on the top of this, which is a pattern thing. I'll tell you what, we'll tackle that later. Let's move on to the forearm part real quick here. Um, Yes, when making darts, it's all kind of trial and error. You do it, you glue it together, and go, eh, it's not enough, and you do it again. So it's just when you're making patterns, I'll do things a couple times. Almost every build I've done, it's always like three times. I said five. Five, so five. Three times, I three. Um, I'll make something, and it'll be great, but then, oh, I need to tweak this or tweak that. And you can, you can keep going until you drive yourself crazy, but I always have to... Like when I'm making this, I'll probably make a pattern, look at it, build it, and go, ooh, you know, and I'll probably end up making changes on that to get that look because you want to try to match the feel of something. Uh, I'm enjoying This is not good as much paper. Um, this is not, I am, I just, this is, this. I am not good as much paper or foam need a 3D scanner to make double for commissions <clears throat> uh, yeah I don't well, my thing is I, I used to do commission work I don't do commission work anymore um, used to work for the entertainment industry working for the people and I still do here and there but yeah I don't do commission work I just build my own stuff and have fun making it um, which kind of gives me the freedom to take time and mess around with patterns and whatnot um, let me we can start blocking this guy out because this one's going to be a little tricky to figure out here. Let me um, because I'm realizing if I was to wrap this on my arm like it is right now, um, we could probably what we do is we just could draw. I'm going to kind of lay this down and draw up as we go. So um, let's do. Let's cut, yeah, let's not cut the detail out yet. Let's just do this part. Let me cut out. Um, Cause now that we got it as page paper, we put a curve to it. We'll have a better idea how far we want to make the curve go. Oh, so got, uh, do you think 50 years old has a chance of getting in the movie industry? Um, <laughs> I kind of, you know something, I don't want to discourage, I am a big advocate of not discouraging anybody from what they want to do. I definitely say you should definitely push and try. There's different aspects of it, but I won't lie, it is a young man's sport. That's kind of why I got out of it, because of just the long hours and the pressure, and it's just, and in, we have families and lives and you have to sacrifice so much of your time to the shows and 15, 16, 18 hour days. It gets old quick. Um, I would, I kind of got out of it when I was in my, no, I was in my fit. I was, I was in my, all the way to my fifties. I was in my fifties and it was just kicking my ass and it wasn't getting that we're getting more time. It was a digital age and it just, they, they want everything faster now. This is why the strike happened. This is why the bur the bubble burst on, on the industry because they just kept pushing us harder, faster, cheaper. And after a while, people are like, we just can't keep doing that. It's ridiculous. And it got to a point where it's a breaking point. And not just in the industry, but in economy and the world in general. It's like everybody says one thing is faster and cheaper, but yeah, people still have to make a living. We still have to pay our bills. And yeah, and then even it got to a point where they started paying you money you just needed time. You need rest. It's it's a tough industry, um, but yeah, I left when I was in my fifties, and 
Yeah, it's tough. But I, I, again, I don't want. It's not discouraging. There's different avenues and different things. But there's, there's, there, you know, there's um, ageism. People just, if you're, you reach it when you hit your 40s and 50s, you get aged out, and people won't even hire you. You know, if you start looking for a job in your 50s, my brother is a graphics designer. He was for years, and the company just like. Let's let him go. My brother's like, you know, screw it. I'm gonna go work at Home Depot, and he has, and he loves it, and he's um, <laughs> he is uh, uh, takes his worth that kid, and he shows up every day and has cups of coffee. And he manages the running thing. They like him so much, they keep promoting him up and up and up. So Bill now, is such an easygoing guy that he just has excelled at Home Depot. So he's happy. He doesn't have the stress of people screaming at him over some graphic designs. Uh, ho, hello from Scotland. Field Walker Marks, how you doing, man? Welcome. Thank you, Scotland, for being here. My my wife and I have a dream to come to Scotland. That's one of our dream trips. Oh yes, yeah, Scott. No, trust me, I'm. I don't. Again, there's I, there's things you can do. The, the world and the avenue, uh, the industry is changing, and things are changing. There's different things out there that involve crafts and skills and building. What I can recommend, though. Um, be a big fish in a small pond. You don't have to work in the industry. You could uh, apply your skills to the local theater. You can help people on independent films. There's so many avenues of where you can apply that skill level. It doesn't have to be in the industry. Um, there's so many different avenues. I have a friend uh, in uh, Austria who she wanted to get into movie stuff, but she's starting with theater and building stage stuff and crafting and building props and stage stuff. She loves it. And so I'm just, she's holding her skills. She's young, but you don't have to uh, waste your skills. Uh, you have your skill set and apply them to different things. There's tons of like movies and uh, local local productions and theater and other things. Like be a big fish in a small pond. Be the guy to build stuff in your area. Look for uh, start looking for people. Looking for prop people. Hey Neil, what guy? Welcome. How you guys doing? I had to go back to my. He had to switch to his laptop. Ooh, which Giver unit? Are you planning to make? <laughs> I. It's funny. Um, it's. I have. I have a. Uh, the Giver units are basically the same. The color schemes are different. Uh, on Giver Dark Hero, uh, they changed some things on me a little bit darker. And there's the Giver Zonoid, but which is the damage Giver unit. But uh, I have the. Um, I have pieces from the original up here. I was gonna paint it, and put it together. But I need to pattern and make, I'm trying to figure out a way to make a foam pattern for a Giver unit so you guys can make your own Giver unit. Make a foam one. Would be fun. So. Uh, anyway, oh, sorry guys, I'm getting distracted. Let me get back to this real quick. Because I could talk for hours. Guys, that's why I do live streams. All right, let's get back to it real quick. Um... What we can do, let me just. Um, you can see there's a profile. Oh, sorry, guys, overhead. Uh, the profile here, I like this is where you can see all the stuff coming down really low. Um, and now this is wraps. Of course, I like this angle, but I have to transfer this over. Um, here, let's do this. Let's tr let's finish tracing this over, and then we'll go from there. Because this much I do, I think this does go longer here. Like you can see here in the side profile, I have it short here because it's a top view, but it comes down really long. So let's fix that real quick. So that means I have to erase all this first. So we're gonna start doing the side profile here. Yeah, that goes down like quite a bit, like this swoops up peaks and it comes back in like that and then there's a see and then there's a see that there's something right right that thing right here what's that so it does that it's so funny I'm I'm, have to, I'm drawing it reverse here excuse you guys a little bit you guys a little bit let's fix this sorry guys whoop what There we go. Um, this part comes down really low. And then there's a secondary. This is piece here. 
this that comes up. <laughs> Becky's gonna have a Del Taco. Oh my god, I love Del Taco. Del Taco is the best. Here's the thing with Del Taco McDonald's, Burger King, Jack and they're expensive. They stopped being like cheap fast food places over the years and they're so ungodly expensive. And you know, oh, record profits. Yeah, because you're gouging people and people aren't going as much anymore because it's too damn expensive. But Del Taco. They have really great deals. You can still pick up stuff for like five bucks. They have like five bucks specials. We can get a bunch of food for five bucks. So yeah, Del Taco is great for the cheap fast food. They're still staying in the cheap fast food range, which I like. And they're not everywhere. So I'm hoping Del Taco takes off and dominates because all the, like I took my daughter to Burger King to get a, a cheeseburger, fries, large fries and a Coke. It was $17. Like, dude, that's what we pay at, like, um, some high-end burger place we went to. Oh, um, not, the, not, the, not the Habit, but one of those other burger places. Um, Shake Shack. Yeah, I took my daughter to Shake Shack and got her the same thing, and it was cheaper. It's like, screw you, Burger King. You guys are ridiculous. Oh, I went to Del Taco. About 15 bucks for a meal. Becky's stupid excited. You know this? The Big Dell. Get the Big Dell burger. The Big Dell, their burgers are great. They're crazy, but they're really good. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to this. <laughs> sorry. Woo, I get getting excited about Del Taco. All right. Um, there's a tendril thing that goes like. Oh, I see. It comes. Oh, there's because there's a this spot here. There's a spot here. That's what I'm missing. Oh, see that, guys? There's this part here, and there's another one right here. So I'm going to make that still. That's what's missing. Which means this is going to be way longer. So and it kind of just looks rounded like this. Like that. It kind of swoops down. Hey, Joe. It's okay, Joe. That's her cat. Starts meowing. He doesn't like it when the house is quiet. He is not a fan of that. Like this, and then this tendril comes like this down. And it comes in like this. Oh shit, Becky. Yeah. We'll definitely look into that. <laughs> Becky informed me of this thing called Super Chat where people can tip and donate money, which would be fantastic because that would be great because this economy and the strike is killing me. Um, let's see. Um, it's funny. Cause it's like I wish I was drawn the other side so I could see this better, but I have to, I'm trying to draw this in reverse. Uh, but this does come out like this and, sw and then and swings back. Oh wait, no, that comes out like a tendril. Right? This this comes down like this. There's, wait, there's hold on. There's an indentation here. So that goes like that. So like this and comes down like that. And it comes up. Oh, I see now. Hold on. Okay, guys. Jesus. Fix my eraser.
I love this little eraser thing. You push it. And, uh, locks in place. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this is actually becoming easier than I thought it would. Start over again, all right. Like this. That's a divot in like this, and it comes up like that. So this guy. That right, I can't this. so that comes over here like that. And then, yeah, this guy comes down way longer, too. Hold on, so this has to be changed, too. Like, this is all. Way too shallow. This all has to be down longer. Because, yeah, because when I was drawing, it was a top view, so this all has to be way longer here. Okay. That guy. You don't think about doing it since this is an opposite side. Let's go ahead and cut these guys out, so I can just flip it over and draw on the other side. <laughs> Let's do that, so that I can at least see what's going on. I think it'd be easier to reproduce it from the different angle. Here, let's do this real quick. Let's cut this out, right? At least the parts that we know we like already. So let's cut this out. Yeah, right. And we'll cut out. Yeah, it's kind of exciting. I've never built a... Uh never jumped in on something really quick on like what it was happening at the same time. I always build old things and I love the fact that I found something I really liked. I thought, that's kind of cool. I should just make that. <laughs> and so this is going to be a journey. My plan is that we're going to do this whole build. I'm, um, have you guys watched this? Help me figure out the patterns. I'm going to do the patterns. And then when I'm all done, I'm going to make a video of how to make one and put it all together out of foam. But this is just the my process of how to make the pattern. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to watch this and hang out and show you how I go about struggling when I make stuff. <laughs> uh. 
There we go. Okay, see, now we're on this side. It'll be easier for me to continue the draw so <laughs> I can see what I'm doing. Easy to match this. I can't flip my brain around. I'm not that skilled. Okay, so now, yes, you can see this now. It swoops like this. And there's an indentation like that. It kicks out. Like a knuckle thing. It comes back. I'm sorry, guys. My phone keeps going off. Let me turn it off for a second. Uh, you can see that little this little this little guy here. There's a thing here that comes like a comes up like that. And there's like a little spot like this opens up like right there. And it comes back and hooks up like this. Oh yeah, because see it's like a secondary layer thing. It goes like this, comes back. Oh, and that leads to the first kind of like tendril thing going off this way. Okay. Oh, you know something I'm realizing? This is going to, have to go down a lot further, and I don't have enough poster board for that. But do not threat. Um, you can always add more poster board to poster board, and I'll show you my trick real quick. Because I'm definitely going to have to do that. So let's cut a. Let's get some poster here. Because um, I'll be doing sometimes I'll be drawing, and then you know you have a piece of paper. You're like, oh crap! I run out. You run out of room. So I just gonna I'm gonna get a strip of poster board. And you, you can tape it on, but I usually just use wood glue and throw it on there. So let's do that real quick. Because I can see right now that I'm not going to have enough. <laughs> it would be a little longer. So, here. Let's cut a three-inch strip like that. That. I'd probably cut one for the other side too, because since I'm going to flip the pattern. Okay. And then I take a little bit. Ooh, look at that, guys. It's coming along. Ah, getting excited. Um, what I do is I take a little bit of wood glue. And I do mean, I mean very little. You don't have to go too crazy with it. I just take a little bit of glue. Let's see. Well, let's first unclog it. <laughs> it's clogged. Those caps never keep anything dry, do they? Uh, hold on. Where's my straight pins? Hey. Unclog the glue first. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I gotta push this thing. This thing's clogged. Ah. There you go. Okay. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right. I take a little bit of glue, like so. Come on. I just do a really thin bead, real thin, like this. Like that. I take my finger, smear it, like this. And then you lay your piece on top of that. 
you want to extend. There you go, and press it. And uh, give it a couple minutes, and it does. It dries, rel does really, dries relatively quick. Because yeah. this, you just definitely, definitely need a little bit of extra room that I didn't have. So let's do that on the other side too. Because it's come together, it just needs to go a little bit beyond the uh, curve. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, sorry. Um, I have a convention coming up in uh, January. It's at Anime Los Angeles here in California. It's at the Long Beach Convention Center. Do you guys have a con you're coming up to, or getting ready to? Or Because I, mean, I know it's Christmas and all. So, any big cons coming up next year you guys are going to go to? Cause I, uh, so far, that's the only one I have right now, but I definitely want to do... Uh, MCM uh, reached out to me, which is the guys that do the big conventions. And I think they do uh, London and also too. I'm trying to... Hook up with them because I would love to go out. Um, but I know everything, nothing's going to happen until after Christmas. I'm just. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Got it. Long Beach is a pretty play. It is. It's fun. Becky was there one time. I think it was TwitchCon, wasn't it, Beck? Um, all right. All right. All right, we solved that problem. Let's get back to it now, shall we? Here we go. All right. <clears throat> okay, we solved that problem. Now let's get back to transferring that onto paper. Okay, so this little thing I like that goes there and it is this comes here like that. Hold on, because so this guy goes here, comes down like this. And there's an opening here, right? This guy goes like that. That's no, very small, comes in like that. That and that goes like this. Wow. Okay. Oh, I get it. That goes like. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Hold on, guys. It's like man, think I think I flip this thing around because this comes. This comes straight, yeah, this needs to be a little bit, hold on. This needs to be, because this tendril comes down like this, and it gets thick, and it stops like here, and then comes straight down. Does that comes down? This guy does this, and this guy. Oh, okay, I see. This comes down like this, and that's this part here. It goes like that. Comes back up. Like that like that. Okay. So this overlaps, like this is a big, um, and this guy, so this guy comes up like this, opens up. 
Yeah, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay. All right, so then we have that. And this guy has a little bit of a knot thing, comes out like that. Comes up into a single strand here. And then there's another part. Wow, hold on guys, there's so much. <laughs> Because there's a tendril thing that comes off of that part here. So this has to be erased here. Because I know this design's actually a little different than it is in the game. The, uh, I really love what they did with the anime design of this thing too. It was super cool. All right, um, so, yeah, because it goes like that. Hang on, guys. This might be a, a section where it ends and we add another part because I think these are different sections here. This goes here. That's the end of that first part. It comes down and gets thick. Like this, and there's a t then from that part is this tendril thing comes down here, like this. Yeah, this is this is why I'm glad I added poster board to this. This comes down. Um, so it goes like this, right? That's like a tendril thing, right? Hold on, this is so okay. Wait, man, it's hard to keep track. Like, okay, this guy comes down, does this, runs over here, that runs down, cuts back up. that and that comes down like this and that's the actual end of this so okay we do that and then this that's an opening and that turns into this thing okay I see now hold on I got it erase this That that gets you know, let's round that off a little bit more, and then this guy comes like this. It wraps in it like that. Wow. Okay, that's it. Oof. <laughs> oh my goodness. So then this guy comes down, and goes. You know, I'm realizing uh, it's a little longer than I had. I think it may have, I have to do that. Might have to add some uh, some poster board back here too as well. Um, yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, it does. It's long. It's not as long. I know the length kind of changes, but when he's, you can see it holding his arm, it does come back quite a ways. So.
this is more of a this is an indentation. This doesn't get cut out, but this these parts uh, these are just like detail stuff. But these guys get cut out. So let me just before we get too far along, let's go ahead and cut these guys out. Um, Yeah, I might be might be doing some foam clay with this costume. I'm gonna do as much as I can with foam. I was like gonna do the foam clay to kind of fill in the gaps on some stuff, but and then yeah, this part gets this guy gets cut out too. Right, like that. Then we do Look at that, guys. It's coming together. See, that's... Now, this looks like it will definitely wrap around your arm. <laughs> um, so we have... And this, of course, we have the... Um, The hand plate thing, right? We have this, which we definitely have. Um, make that separate. We'll stick it on later. I think it's going to be a bit of a ridge or something here. Uh, let's see. So... Yeah, we might have to, I think we have to add on to, because I'm doing this section here, it comes down, right? It's like a big thick piece. It comes down like this. But then it comes down like that and dips up like this. We have this, that, that goes like that. That kind of ends. Yep, and to add more here too. Well, let's go ahead and cut this first. Yeah. So at least cut this portion out. I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead. And... Sorry, guys. We'll go ahead and cut this out. All right, we got that much, so let's get that. Oh, the irony, because see, I originally drew it like this. And it is, um, now I have the uh, this to gauge from. I can see it's a little on the short side. Granted, I know that my arm might stick out a little bit over too much, but it's all about getting the design. It's not about practicality because it's an anime. But we want to make sure we embody the look of this thing. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to have to stick some, uh, 
<laughs> Let's do some, yeah, do some poster board. A little bit more poster board on it. Yeah, not much. I don't think we have to. Just a little bit, right? So we're just going to do just a tad more. a little bit, right? Not too much. All right. There we go. All right. So now let's get back to finishing drawing out the uh, little bit of the back area here. Uh, asking me, is it going to be a challenging gauntlet? I mean, it is to degree patterning. This part I'm doing right now is the most challenging part. Once it becomes a pattern and foam, you can start pulling it together. And, and that, that's where it really comes together for me. Uh, uh, I was in the morning, this morning, I was like kind of like, eh, I had all these ideas. Maybe I'll carve out a styrofoam first and make a pattern for that. And I thought, no, I'm just going to just draw it first. And by doing that, gave me... Um, a little more confidence in it. There's a great phrase I heard one day. Uh, um, I gotta find the woman that said it because I want to give her credit. But uh, hey, Car Zora, how you doing? Welcome. Um, don't wait to have your skill. Don't wait to have. Don't wait to have skills to start building. You develop your skills while you build. And I couldn't be any further from the truth than, than doing cosplay. People that start off get really nervous and like, oh, maybe I should have the skill set. You don't need this, the skill set comes with building and the confidence comes from finishing a project or seeing it come together. That's where the confidence comes from. So don't wait for confidence or skill. Just start. When you start, you'll start to develop the skills and you'll build the confidence of what you accomplished. Because we're at the we're at the era right now that where you can get a book, there's tutorials like myself, I have tons of videos, how to get started. And once you start doing it, I take a majority of the trouble out of building by just watching me do it. I show you the steps of what I've learned over the years. So I did all the failing so you don't have to. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're still going to fail, but not as much. So I don't have Discord. I'm none and more on Facebook. <laughs> so I'm just catching up with chat. All right. Um, let's draw this last part here. This is the, so this guy comes down. Um, yeah, we're on the, this part right here. It comes here. Does that, yeah, that kind of just comes off. That's this thing. Like, you know. You know, it's so funny. This it actually flares out more. Hold on. Let me erase something really quick because I want the, this kind of shoots out more than I thought it did here. Hmm. 
Close off Molly this, which means this guy can come up more too, so. That's edge. It comes down like this. This is shooting back like that. Yeah, and this comes. Yeah, see, this is where I got. And this comes down. Oh yeah, this comes down way lower. Hold on, guys. Yeah, this is what happened. There's my problem. This is lower than I thought. Erase all that. That comes down. That comes down like this. That ends here. That shoots. That, that's, yeah. That becomes a thing, okay, so. So that goes that. That comes in like this. And it comes in, there's a weird divot in here, it goes like this. And that guy down kicks back straight from here and that one comes down like this like that like that and that So once I, yeah, let me lock this thing down because this is pretty much it. So we're going to do this um, here. Get this peak up, that guy. It comes over here, it runs up here like this. It's this guy. And that's... Is this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black uh, sharpie. This is going to be my cut line. I'm going to continue to draw the pattern, but when I make the foam pattern, this is going to be these guys here are going to be separate pieces. So I know this is going to, when I make this out of foam, all this um, will be one piece and then will be the uh, a thinner foam for all the detail stuff that goes on top and then there'll be the thinner pieces that sit underneath it because there is, when you look at this thing, it, it has a, um, uh, it has some separations. I really like this. And we could, you know, granted you could carve into the foam and do that, but it could be easier just to do these as separate pieces and then you can kind of change their angle and make them look a little bit more again and I have them kick up a little bit more so I think we're going to st this is all going to be one piece right here and these guys are going to be smaller pieces but just to confirm I'm going to do that I'm going to make a my black sharpie line is going to be my cut line this will be where I'll cut the pattern
Oh. Oh, guys, Carzor says, I made a good progress on my bolt gun last stream. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I came in for a little bit when you started off. I was hoping to stick around some of the bill stage. But if I really quickly, Carzor, uh, uh, pick up my bolter pattern from my, uh, gun from Warhammer and she's uh making a phone bolter which is exciting because I think she's gonna make the gun and make a, a battle sister as well too which is super cool um guys we're so close what time is it right now are we getting there um but yeah yeah check that out Uh, um, Facebook, uh, I don't want to ask for permission on this chat. Give me a second to post this. Um, I don't know how it works on Facebook. I'm sorry, guys, YouTube. Can you guys put images in chat? Sorry, guys, I'm so used to Twitch. There's some things I have to learn. And uh, Becky's telling me about like, doing this thing where I can get uh, people can donate, which is great. I'm definitely going to learn all about that. So, again, everybody, really quickly, if you have not subscribed, you're watching my channel, please hit that subscription button uh really helps me a lot and also when this video is done please leave comments below all right let's get back to it um now i'm going to go back to the uh the top view here and we're going to do that for the rest of it so there's different yeah so you can see the different stages here i was doing and you can see how I originally had it. It was a bit, bit short. I mean, this is gonna be a. Good size gauntlet, you know. But I think that's. It's funny because I'm looking at it in the uh, the drawing. It doesn't like it doesn't come down that far. It really doesn't. Hmm. I mean, I like all the work I've done here, but um, if you see here in the picture, it doesn't, it kind of sits on the top, doesn't, but then it comes quite a bit here. I mean, all that work, and I think, yeah, I think I've gone down a little bit too far. I, I like the length. I think the length's fine. I might have gone down a bit too far. So, shoot. Um, Yeah, let's shorten this up a little bit. I mean, I like it. I like the work here, but now I'm looking at it. Uh, this, this is, it, it's like, I have it coming way, it needs to be about, about here. I went way too far with it. Um, so hold on, let's do that. Let's clean this up. So let's see, yeah, I think originally had it in there. So let's do that. Let's do this. And that's where we'll have it end. So let's erase all this. It's, it's almost there. Uh, yeah. Here, let me just, which means it will change the, will that, will that change, change the opening now? Not so much. Um, You know, just it'll have it end here, right? If you come here, up in there. I think the length's good. I just don't. It just doesn't. It just doesn't come down that far. So hold on. I like it. Yeah, it's not that. It comes back like that. It does that, right? We had that. Comes down. So 
this comes up like this. If it's foam, I'm just trying to think this thing out there. Yeah, you know something? Screw it. Tell you what, I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and... Um, nah. Yeah, I'm second guessing myself too much. Let's go ahead and cut this real quick, take a look at it. Let's cut it. See, take a look at this. Cut the top. Yeah, nah, it's fine. I'm it seems long. Just gonna trim some stuff up on it. But um, I'm guaranteed when you make this out of foam and wrap it, it, it probably won't be that big of a thing. Where's my hand pattern? Let's grab that too real quick. Mm. And the hand thing is going to sit on top like that. So I don't know. That's all right. <laughs> I'm at that point, like, that's a lot. Uh, I tell you, I got 10 costumes I'm working on, 3 a.m. working on a, a Rocketeer. Ooh, a Rocketeer one. Nice, Danny. Oh, that's up. Uh, Jim's up. Yeah, and I know, Becky, it's like, it's that thing I might, I might be overthinking it. But again, it's animated. It's like it changes from variation. From They always draw it, they draw it differently from different angles. But um, I think I'm just going to stay with that then. Um, so my next step is to go ahead and start drawing the, let's do that. Let's start drawing the, um, um, the secondary stages inside. All right, over here. <clears throat> here we go. So uh, on the inside, where I started drawing stuff, let's go ahead and erase that real quick. Um, I'm going to start drawing the, kind of figure out what's going on on the inside. You kind of get a view of it here. You can see the uh, the top. Um, this guy comes out quite a bit like this. And then comes back. Yeah, it kind of it just kind of drifts off. Old. It doesn't really see much. You know, it kind of disappears into the rest of it. So, like that and then 
That's this guy, and it has like a indentation, like a thing here. And this guy comes up. Kind of comes up and out like this. Angle like that. It has a thing like this in there. See, look, look, look like, like it has eyes almost. So you have that. Yeah, I think it would just kind of it, it kind of bleeds into the. The tendril thing aspect of it right like that and then the last one which is it? these guys that look like eyes like that oh yeah see the face the oni face there's the eyes and the mouth holy crap that's exactly what that is how funny that's the eyes and down here's the mouth Pony mouth, and there's a yeah, and there's a groove here for his nose, and then that's where these guys are his horns. That's it. So it comes down. Yeah, yeah. If you look at it, that's his eyeball. And there's a bit of a forehead piece like this. Right up in the middle of the eye pops up and there's horns on his head like that. Yeah. And well, it kind of more like goes up like this. Alright, got it. Alright, that's it. But let's see, it tapers off quite a bit. So let's go and take a knife. Yes. Ta-da! <laughs> there it is. So we decided we're going to go ahead and cut these, make these separate pieces. So let's go ahead and cut this guy out right now. Uh, all right. Yep, I get that. And we have the hand plate here too. We'll work these guys out. But here they are. All right, guys. These are my prototype pieces right now. We'll start playing with foam next time. So get these guys all set up. <clears throat> I'm going to work the bugs out and we'll come back and we'll put this together with some foam. Everybody, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me today. Thanks, for everybody, for your patience. I am learning this YouTube thing. Um, I stream. I'm going to start setting this up so I can stream every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for people who showed up today. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And even better, jump over to my website, eviltedsmith.com, where I have patterns, 
I have affiliate links. I have all my shopping supplies. If you guys do any shopping through Amazon, be sure to go to my website and click on my Amazon link. And by clicking on my Amazon link, will take you to your store, but I get kicked back. So click on my Amazon link. Therefore, you do any shopping through your account. I get credit for that, which helps me a lot, guys. Big time, please. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, Neil, guys, thank you. Um, yes, I'm wrapping up. It's gonna. It's almost 11 o'clock, but um, I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, but we'll wrap up the stream today uh, from like 9 to usually 11, but I got what I need to get done today. That was my mission. Mmm, kickbacks. Yeah, Becky. Not not frequently enough, but... Um, hey, Joe. Poor Joe. He doesn't like it when it's quiet. Um, oh, really quickly, guys. I know some of you people have noticed I've been posting about it, but it's all done. I'll show you guys really quick before we close the stream. Here, a laser rifle is done. <laughs> I have the, the battery pack here with the cord and the weapon, and there she is in all her glory. Pew pew, it's kind of big for the background here. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and there she is. Little sight. It's all done. Uh, I've been working on it way too long, but it's all done. I'll be uh, packing this up and giving it to the winner. We haven't announced him yet. He's. Uh, Danica knows the winner. We haven't announced it, but he's, uh, I think he's somewhere in Florida. So we're going to pack up and ship it out there. Hey, Karazor. Pew, pew. That's pretty. Thank you, Becky. Um, I'm going to be taking this to Anime LA to put it on display. But unfortunately, you won't be able to travel with me because it's so damn big. I made this thing so huge. It's crazy. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. It is huge. All right, guys, um, thank you so much for hanging out today uh, and joining me on my YouTube live stream. I am going to figure the bugs out of this thing and make sure it works a little bit smoother. It wasn't too bad this time. so I'm going to try to get scheduled so next time it won't be such an issue to set it all up. Again, thank you so much, and I'll catch you back next Sunday at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you then. Bye-bye.